Morning, Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in New Jersey. Today I just want to make a quick video to talk about the current state of the industry. It makes me kind of sad because we had a situation that made me really sit and think about how things have changed and how a lot of shops out there are dropping the ball and leaving customers to not trust a lot of professionals and have to do their own research. We don't have a problem with the customer doing their own research because we prefer a customer that's educated. If the customer is educated, they'll see value in what we do and understand why we cost more than the other shops around us. So that's exactly what this customer did, but a customer shouldn't have to go through all this just to get a properly designed stereo installed in his vehicle. He's got a brand new 2019 Volkswagen Tiguan. So he made a phone call, asked me if uh, we had certain product in stock. We did have it in stock. He came down, wanted to talk for a little bit, and ended up purchasing the product from us. So then, after I talked to him for a little while, I realized he was he did his research. He was putting together a really nice stereo system for his Tiguan. This is not his first stereo. So there were certain mistakes he wanted to avoid. There were certain things he wanted to be sure of. So he wanted to feel comfortable with, with whatever shop he chose to do the install. He went to uh, four or five different shops, and he did this to purchase the product from an authorized dealer, which I respect. So he made sure that all the product was covered by factory warranty. He made sure that the product was purchased through an authorized dealer. That way he'd have no hassles or problems in the future. So back to what I was saying. It was uh, really smart on his part. He wanted to make sure he was purchasing from an authorized dealer. He wanted to make sure he was covered by the factory warranty. Uh, wanted to make sure we were knowledgeable on all the product that he was getting installed. So I'm thinking, wow, this is the type of client that you want. If we had more of these clients, the uh, industry would be in so much of a better state. Then he showed me that he reached out to Mark Klett, Car Audio Fabrication, and had a subwoofer enclosure designed for his two gel audio subwoofers that he's running. So um, I went over Mark's design and then I sat with the customer. We loaded all the parameters into the subwoofer building program that we used. And of course, it came up to the same exact um, configuration as Mark. The design was correct. Everything was 100% correct. We went over a few options, uh, single sub versus two, ported versus sealed. But for what he was trying to achieve, the design Mark came up with was perfect. Now, when a client has to go online and reach out to a professional to get a subwoofer enclosure designed instead of going to his local shop, that's pretty sad. We can offer this service to our client. I'm hoping that a lot of you shop owners out there can as well, even though I know that's not the case. I know for a fact we're the only shop in the area that can model several different enclosures for a client, go over frequency response, see what the best thing is, see what different enclosure. It's, it's, it's sad, we are all professionals. Customers should not have to the customer should not be able to come into a shop and know more than the shop that's going to be working on his vehicle or trying to work on his vehicle. He also wanted to make sure everything was done properly, wanted to know what our warranty was on our labor. As always, warranty on labor is lifetime. Wanted to know what kind of materials we use to make our speaker adapters. Obviously, we use composite materials, so it's waterproof. So, obviously, the, the car's here. We got the job. He trusted us. He follows us online. He saw our videos he went to our Facebook and Instagram saw the way that we build stuff so that gave him enough confidence to trust us with the build the customer is so picky about how he wants stuff done he brought in his own hardware to make sure that that's how the subwoofer is gonna get installed now um, he purchased the wrong hardware um, it's the right style but the size is wrong it actually wouldn't go through the flange on the JL audio woofers because it's a little too large which is no problem because we have the proper hardware in stock. It's the way we do stuff anyway. But when you think about it, a customer purchasing his own hardware, getting a subwoofer enclosure designed online, he's even forwarding me videos of installs on his vehicle to make sure I was aware of certain things. It's a little bit of an insult, but I understand. He wanted to make me aware, it's a brand new vehicle, wanted to make me aware of how the vehicle came apart, but the guy's really, really done his homework. It's a brand new vehicle, he wants to treat it properly, he wants to take it apart properly, he wants it reassembled properly. But there's so much information out there for clients, 
And if these shops can't meet or exceed the customer's high expectations because the customer knows what it takes to get this job done right, you're not going to get the job. So you shop owners out there really need to step your game up. If you're already doing what you're supposed to do, I commend you. If not, you really, really need to step your game up because it's not 1980 or 1990. There's a lot of information out there available. And these clients are educated. They know what they're looking for. As Crix McNulty would say, be the expert. At MVS Audio, we are the expert. We're here to help our clients. We're here to service our clients. We're here to do the best job we physically can for our clients. You other shop owners out there really need to do the same, and this client is proof of that. I remember when a customer used to, when there was no internet, there was no social media, a customer had to find a shop he trusted that carried the brands that he wanted to go with. And even the brand thing, if you can build a really good sounding car and you have a reputation, customers buy whatever brand you tell them to buy if you can show value in whatever it is that you're doing customers are buying you they're buying your knowledge they're buying your expertise they're buying your opinion so we f I feel like we've lost that around the way uh, along the way for here um, my my texts get amazed that a lot of times I'll do a deal with a client they'll drop off the cars drop off the keys and then come back five minutes later and be like oh by the way what brand of equipment are we using? Because brand is not something that we really talk about. We talk about what the client's end goals are, what they're trying to do, what they're trying to make the car sound like, what they want the install to look like. And then we pick product that fits and meets those needs. It's, uh, we really start need, need to start doing a better job as an industry so we can get back what we had in the 90s and the 80s and that's cus consumer's trust. We need to be the expert. We need to continue our education these cars keep developing and technology increasing. We need to step up the kind of tools that we use to diagnose, tune, troubleshoot, integrate. It, a, a client shouldn't be doing our homework for us. We should be telling the client what to expect, what can be done, what's achievable, what's not achievable. It's um, what, what happened with this build really made me sit down and think like, wow, We've, we've really fallen far as an industry. We really need to get back the confidence that the client used to have when they had no choice, when they had no resource. I want an educated client. I appreciate an educated client because uh, they will choose me nine times out of ten, I feel. But it's sad that customers feel that the only way to get good value or the right opinion is to do their own research and then come in with the supplies needed to do the job properly. That's it. It's the end of my rant. I'm going to go finish up his car. It's coming up really, really, really good. Um, most of our builds come out really, really good, so that's no surprise. But um, a lot of these shops out there really need to step your game up, or uh, you won't be getting clients like these. Let me get back to work. Thanks for